Some of them, they come from optical nerve atrophy, retinitis pigmentosa, macular degeneration, most of them. A lot of patients, they come from probably from the, the joints, you know, shoulders, knees. They want to avoid the surgery and like a knee replacement or a hip replacement. Stem cells, they have the capacity and the property to regenerate most of the organs. Unfortunately, in the United States and in Canada, they don't have our treatments. So the patients, they don't have you know, access to receive these treatments there. For over 35 years, Dr. Rebecca Lopez has delivered safe, non-toxic treatments for chronic diseases. As founder and medical director, she leads one of Tijuana's top therapy centers. We sat down with her, and here's what to know about getting stem cell therapy. Hi, I am Dr. Rebecca Lopez. I am the founder and medical director, and uh, it's a pleasure being here with you. And we have 37 years experience treating patients with chronic and degenerative diseases. The last 21 years, we have been working with stem cell treatment for uh, different conditions, like uh, ophthalmic conditions, diseases from the immune system, uh, orthopedic problems. Some of them, they come from of ophthalmic condition, like, uh, for example, optical nerve atrophy, uh, retinitis pigmentosa, macular degeneration, most of them. A lot of patients, they come from problems from the, the joints, you know, shoulders, knees. They want to avoid the surgery and like a knee replacement or a hip replacement. So they come, we have patients that they have uh, problems with the heart, like a heart failure, kidney failure, liver failure. Most of them, they, I mean, they come for this reason. Some of, some of them, they come because they want to feel good and to do a, like an anti-aging treatment because stem cells, they have the capacity and the property to regenerate most of the organs. So, uh, but mainly our patients, they are coming for, to receive treatment for these conditions. Here in Mexico, the government is very strict. So you need to work with uh, stem cell banks that they are authorized by them, by the COFEPRIS. So uh, here in the same, in the same building, the same, I mean, our facilities, there is the stem cell bank. We have the stem cells right here. There is nothing that, okay, I'm going to, you know, they're going to send me the stem cells, I don't know from where, and it's gonna take two days, and the stem cells are going to be frozen, it's gonna take, you know, more than 24 hours to give the stem cells now. The day that the patient is going to receive the stem cells, the same day, maybe two or three minutes before, we are going to take the stem cells from the lab. So that is very good because the patients, they are having a very good quality of, of stem cells. Fresh, a very high percentage of uh, live cells. The stem cells, they are certified. So we have a certification document that we will show to the patient and we can show to the patient where the lab is. Of course, the patient cannot get in because my guy is so complicated. This is just the biologists and the scientists are there. So, but he can see, you know, from the window. And uh, in, the, in this way, the patient can prove that the stem cells are the best quality. There's a, the lab that is, is, a, is a, at the same time, it's a bank stem cell back and it's certified by the, the coffee priest. So there is a, a window, the people inside of the lab of the stem cell bank, they are bringing the stem cells through the surgery room or through us. And then the patient is sitting down right there and we are going to give them stem cells immediately. We will present the protocol the patient is going to be in touch with the our administrator. The our administrator is going to contact the patient and is going to explain the ways to make the payment. Everything, everything is included. Everything. If we need to do an MRI, an X-rays, is going to be included. I mean, the only thing that is extra is that included on the package are meals. But we we have a very good restaurant here with a very good food that the patient they love, so they can. They can have their uh, meals in their room, or even they can go, our patient coordinator is going to take it to the restaurant, and our patient coordinator is going to be with the patient. 
if the patient is not bringing a companion. If the patient is bringing a companion, uh, the transportation and the room is included also in the same room with the patient. Most of the day they come with, you know, husband or a wife or a friend, and they stay in, a one, in one room. It could be two, two bedrooms, two beds or one bed. But yes, we provide from everything. There's no surprises, expenses, like, no, I didn't know about that, no. They can save even uh, 30, 60%. The cost in the United States is very, very expensive. Very, very expensive and um, I'm pretty sure that they have good treatment, but here we have good treatments and more affordable prices. A lot of patients, they come from Canada and the United States. Some of them, they are coming from Europe and some from Asia. Unfortunately, in the United States and in Canada, they don't have our treatments. So the patients, they don't have you know, access to receive these treatments there. After a patient uh, speak with me, they feel comfortable because they have all the information. So they decide to come. They, uh, they feel safe. They have, uh, we, I send the protocol from them. Uh, you know, in the beginning I ask a lot of questions and uh, most of the time they feel a medical questionnaire. And then I call them back and I answer all the questions and. I explain everything very, very clear, and uh, they decide to come. Sometimes the patients, they tell me, after I speak with you, doctor, I make my decision. I know where I'm going. Like I said, it's customized. It's individual for each patient. Why? Let's talk about Parkinson's disease. You can have two patients with the same diagnosis, like a Parkinson's disease, but the conditions are different are different, maybe the patient has more years suffering from this disease, the other patient is just starting. So we have to uh, make the protocol very in a very particular way for the patient. As soon as they contact me, talk about all the, uh, the uh, I mean, all what are we going to do? Uh, what is the best treatment? What option? Because we go, I give options to the patients. This, uh, we have, you have this option, you have another option, so the patients, you know, look at it and make the decision, I'm going to do protocol number one, protocol number two. So next step is to be in touch with our patient coordinator, and our patient coordinator is going to prepare everything. All the logistics, like uh, uh, you need to uh, buy your, your plane tickets, you, and then having your flight information, the whole process begins. You know, transportation, we will provide you from transportation when you arrive to San Diego Airport. Our transportation is going to be there waiting for you. It's going to pick you up and it's going to bring you to our facilities. So you're going to have your own room, a private room in a hotel, and then uh, you're going to have, uh, 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 co the coordinator is going to, is a, available for the patient 24 hours a day, and the nurses also. So the patient, he just needs just to pick up the phone and, and call, and yes, the nurse or the patient coordinator or a doctor, and we will be there. So, and the first day when the patients arrive, we do blood work because we need to know the condition of the patient. Some patients, they bring some information, some of them, they, do, they, they don't. So we do a blood work, blood test, and then a physical examination, complete physical examination. And I have a second uh, talk with the patient because some patients say, well, I'm going to Mexico and you know, I would like to have more information. So I, I love to speak with my patients, to explain them, to make them feel safe, that they can trust that the treatment is, is the best treatment. So after our conversation, uh, the patient is going to receive uh, the preconditioned treatment. We need to prepare the patient in order that the patient can have very excellent results. So we um, remove uh, like a toxins, uh, we build up the immune system, we prepare the body because the stem cells, they need a, a, a good environment. They need, it's not just, you know, to give the stem cells and go back home. No, it's not in that way. I will need like a basic information 
to know exactly what the condition of the patient is. And 97% uh, of the patients, they send their medical records, so I review them. And based on that, our medical questionnaire is that when I make the protocol. Every week we have a medical meeting and I present the cases. I present the protocol, I present everything with the other specialists because we work with ophthalmologists, we work with um, surgeons, we work with orthopedic uh, surgeons too. So I present the cases in our medic medical meeting and then we decide if it's the best protocol is there, or if there's something else that we can add to the protocol. After the protocol is done and you know approved on the medical meeting of the med by the medical board, I present the protocol to the patient. So that's why I'm saying that it's a, but like when I give the protocol, it's because it's the best protocol that the patient can have. The patient, uh, they receive all the information when the patient is there. When I present the protocol, I said, well, you need to stay one, two days. The maximum is two days. The first day is to prepare the patient, to do the blood work, and even if the patient needs, uh, let's say that, that if you have a, an MRI that maybe is old, that it has one, two, three years, we update the, uh, the MRI here. So we do that on the first day. So with that information, we proceed on the second day. We do the treatment on the second day, the patient is going to spend the night on the second day, and then the patient is leaving the next day. Let's say that you arrive on a Monday, we will start on the Monday, the treatment is going to be done on Tuesday, and you are going to leave on Wednesday morning after breakfast. We have a program that we have a follow-up program. It's for one year. During one year, we are going to be in touch with the patient. The patient coordinator is going to set up a phone call. I'm going to speak with the patient to see what they need. Most of the time, we give all, even a, a home program treatment that is made up from nutraceuticals very specific supplements, depending on your diagnosis. So that's why it's very important that I speak with the patient after they finish the treatment. So the success rate is very high. It takes from the San Diego airport, the maximum is 20 to 30 minutes. It's very fast. They don't need, uh, I mean, it, when they cross the border, uh, they cross directly. Nobody's going to ask them for a passport or for any document. So they, it's like they go from the airport to the clinic, nonstop, nothing. Especially when they are going back to the United States. There is, a, at the border, there is a, a special line that is for patients. And you need a medical pass. We provide from them. So the, when the patient is going to the, in the transportation, going back to the United States, they have a medical pass. So uh, it, they go faster than the other, the other uh, lines, like the red line. If you are coming from Canada or other parts of the world, yes, absolutely, you're gonna need a passport. Most of the patients, they are surprised when they arrive here because we are located in a very nice neighborhood. And so part of the fault is because the media, because they say things that are not true and you can read all the testimonials. And when the patients arrive here, they are surprised. Since they go to the transportation, that the driver speaks very well English, that they are comfortable. When they cross the border, there's no problem. So they are very surprised that they are coming to Yes, they say that we are the third world, but our area is like the fourth world. So it's not like, don't believe what the media say. Even here, here in Tijuana, I don't know if people have an idea how many Americans are living here. You can find it everywhere living here. Of course, it's like other places. If you go to a bad neighborhood, of course you're gonna have problems. But if you stay in a safe neighborhood, you're gonna be safe. The same, if I go to Canada, if I go to the United States, and if I go to a non-safe uh, neighborhood, I'm gonna be in problems. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stay away. So 
The patients, they are very gladly surprised coming here that everything is professional, clean, the best quality of attention. We don't have complaints of our patients. MTC is with you every step of the way. For your medical or dental trip, contact MTC today.